Hi, I'm Tom Lawson, General Manager at Mega Building Industries. And I'm Justin Brown from Gallagher. We're here today to talk to you about the Gallagher Mega Anchor post and stay assemblies and gate kits. The Mega Anchor products uh, were originally designed for building and construction, uh, also in the development stages. The fencing products were also developed along the same timeline and the products have been around for approximately 20 years. So with the new development with Gallagher, uh, we're sort of reinventing the Mega Anchor fencing system uh, by way of pre-assembling and supplying the products all in one. Uh, we can see a really big advantage with the uh, Gallagher electric fencing system. The features of the, the Gallagher Mega Anchor fencing system, the packaging, you'll have all the components all in one easy to install unit. So that way when you're going out to site, you don't have to worry about cutting extra material or having to have extra machinery to do it. So the benefits of the, the Mega Anchor system is that you can go out, uh, install it anywhere at any time. It's easy for anybody to install the system and it has a small environmental impact. The Gallagher Mega Anchor kits are really easy to install. They don't require any holes to be dug or big machinery to be taken around the paddocks. They work well with our insulated line posts and Gallagher Western Fence kits. They don't require any big tools or holes to be dug. They're quite simple to, to construct and assemble, similar to some of our other products in the range. So it makes our fencing a complete package and, and simple to put up. The new Gallagher Mega Anchor fencing system comes with a massive 15 year warranty. For more information on the Gallagher Mega Anchor kits, please contact our customer service centre on 1800 425 524 or check out our website at www.gallagher.com. Uh, let's go and have a closer look at the new Mega Anchor Gallagher fencing kits and we'll show you how to install them. Here we have the new Gallagher Mega Anchor fence post kit. Uh, we've got the pre-assembled Mega Anchor attached to the post. It's a 1600 post. Uh, we've got complete with the post cap, screws and three piles for installation. Uh, here we have the Gallagher Mega Anchor Stay Kit. It comes complete with a 2.4 metre stay, three piles, the Mega Anchor Brace Anchor and the Brace Bracket, complete with all the screws to complete the installation. The Gallagher Mega Anchor Stay Kit works in conjunction with the Gallagher Mega Anchor Post Kit to create a strong end assembly. We have the Gallagher Mega Anchor Gate Hanging Kit. Uh, the Gate Hanging Kit comes complete with all the components to hang a gate. Uh, here we've got the top bracket. It goes over the Gallagher Mega Anchor fence post and supports the gate at the top. Here we've got the, the bottom bracket. It's got a fully adjustable gudgeon here and it's also height adjustable here. Uh, we've also got the gate latch just hooks onto the post and then allows you to latch the gate and it comes complete with all the screws to complete the installation. Yeah, okay, I'll just run through the installation toolkit. Uh, here we've got a jackhammer. When used with the Mega Anchor jackhammer bit, uh, the jackhammer is used to install the piles which makes up the Gallagher fence post kits. The installation can also be done by sledgehammer by manually hitting the poles into the ground. Uh, other tools you'll need is a 13mm socket or 13mm spanner. Uh, the option, you can use a impact driver for the socket. You'll also need a drill to install the screws, a uh, 3 8 drill bit, tech screw bit. You'll also need a level to level the post and a tape measure to do some measuring. So I'm going to run through how to install the Gallagher Mega Anchor fence post kit. Uh, but before we get into it, just go through a few safety instructions. When you're installing the fence kit, you want to make sure you've got gloves, earmuffs, safety glasses and wearing safety boots. So firstly, we get our post 
we've marked out where our post is going to go. So we put it down where it's going to go and we check the level. So we've got an idea of how level it is. Then we'll grab the three piles. The post should sit there by itself. If not, you can dig out a little bit at the bottom to make it sit flat. All right, now we're going to insert the three piles into the pile guides of the mega anchor and it'll just sit there like that. All right, now we check the level. See where it's going to become level. If you adjust your piles a little bit to make it sit level. Now the fun begins. Make sure you've got your glasses on and your earmuffs on. Always check that your jackhammer's working. Now we're going to slide the end of the jackhammer dolly into the first pile. You can rest the jackhammer with one hand on the switch, one hand on the post, and get your level to check the level. When the post is level, Drive the pile approximately a third to halfway down, then move on to the next one. Now your second pile you use to adjust the level of the post. So you put your level on the post and adjust it to where it needs to be. Repeat the process. And the same for the third one. Once you've got your three piles in place, you can proceed to drive them the rest of the way into the ground. important to stop jackhammering just before you get to the anchor base so that it doesn't interfere with the post. After the three piles have been installed, use the screws provided and screw off the piles. We're going to use our cordless drill to screw the piles. There are two pre-punched holes in the base of each anchor. Uh, they're where the screws go. Now, the post is installed. Top it off. Post cap on top. And there's your Gallagher Mega Anchor fence post. So we're just going to go through the installation of the stay kit. As you'll notice, we've already removed the post cap off the post from the post installation. So first up for the installation of the post kit, I'm going to measure down the post, 200 mil, and that's where the bracket is going to sit to attach the stay. Now we're going to grab our brace bracket and slide it down over the post. So what you want to do is you want to have the top of the bracket sitting at the 200mm mark. And we're just going to tighten, tighten up the bolt closest to the post. Now, with the tightening of the bolt, you can use the impact driver or you can use a spanner or a ratchet. So, now that we've got the, the bracket attached, we're going to slide the stay into position. 
So firstly we grab the stay, slide it into the bracket so it meets the bolt on the bracket. Now we're going to, going to position the stay anchor to where it needs to be. Then we're going to install the back pile first. It's important to install the back pile first. Uh, this pile provides adjustment for the post at the other end as you can push the post in a direction to plumb it up. Once again, safety first, glasses, earmuffs, gloves and boots. So you want to position the brace anchor in line with the stay. Now that we're all set, Now I've installed the middle pile. Now at this point, we can use this middle pile to adjust the level of the post. So at the moment, the post is reasonably level. If you wanted to offset it a bit, you keep driving that end and it'll push the post over to allow counter stress. There is also an option to install with the sledgehammer. Now that we've installed the back pile, we can proceed to installing the next two piles. It's important to install one pile at a time because you can't install them both at once. As you can see, they don't go in. Now we've installed the brace, we need to go around, tighten the bolts and put the screws in. There we go. Stay kit installed. Okay, so now we're going to install a second stay kit to create a corner assembly. We start by undoing the brace bracket bolts and taking them out because we need to snap the bracket around the post. Just put it on there, a little bit of pressure and it'll just snap around and we can redo the bolts. Now that we've got the second bracket on the post, we slide it just underneath the other brace bracket and tighten it up to hold it in place. And repeating the steps of the first stay. Grab the stay, align it into the bracket. Slide the brace mega anchor on the other end. and proceed with installing the first pile in the back. After the three piles have been installed, we screw off the anchor.
and then install the rest of the screws. And there's the second stay to create a corner assembly. Here we're going to fit the Gallagher Mega Anchor Gate Kits to our stay post. This is the gudgeon bracket which sits on the bottom of the post which slides around and we have our bolts that go through the back of the bracket. And our nuts that go on the other side here. We use our, the same socket we've used through the whole assembly to tighten up those bolts. Then we have the adjustment here where we have four holes where we can adjust the height of the gudgeon. We can tighten those up into the position because I'm happy with that. Once we've put on the bottom gudgeon, we now go to put the top strap on. That fits around the top there. And we put the bolt through to secure the position. From this point, we need to bring our gate over to fit the top strap. The base of the gate goes on the gudgeon, and the top strap on there, with the bolt going through. Tightening that up. Once we've got the adjustment right, we can then put our tech screws in. From here, we just adjust the bottom of the gudgeon here, which slides along this open space. Using a shifter, once the gate height is adjusted on the far end, you can tighten that off, locking it into position. That's locked into position. From here, we have our gate latch, which will go to the far side and install that. The last step is simply applying the gate latch to the post, sliding that over the top to the correct height and fastening it up with our socket. All nice and tight. To complete the installation, we make sure our post caps are on. And we're done.